wealth is money flow Distortion of wealth curves to the tops and falls Like city blocks rock children starve Politicians roll up in a Bentley Brain engines and ghettos from mentally empty Intense B, they tune you up with dreams of other cups I hear pops, the guns are going off They bust into your crib, your baby sucking tits Selling crack rock equivalent White man's Nasdaq stocks So let's bring the Dow down with the Jones bueno, yo quiero, bueno, bienvenido Aaron, quiero darle la oportunidad de, de, de que Andrés abra con broche de oro preguntándole por una producción muy buena. Yo sé que es una animación que la verdad sí me interesa saber. Yes, man, uh, John, let, get me the honor to start this, yeah. because, man, you, we really showcase the, here the world from from voiceover, and you did voiceover and, and fireworks, man. One of the best anime movies from these last year. So tell us about this experience um, doing the voiceover from Yusuke Asumi, man. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yes. Wow, I'm surprised you guys actually watched uh, Fireworks G Kids. Yeah, that's uh, a lot of people overlook that. They don't bring that up in the interview. Man, I, I, I love working on that film i played the 15 year old best friend who does is not loved by the girl of the lead mm -hmm. and it was just such a fantastic experience i worked with the people over at um uh the new york new york av post um they were just just fantastic clark chang over there uh yeah man that's one of my favorite animated features and that was really cool to see that in theaters as well Uh, and I'm so happy that you brought that up. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that that never gets brought up. Okay, I was telling you, man, that here in Latin America, the otaku community and the anime community is huge. And, wow. of course, we didn't look back to... Uh, to we didn't let the pass, sorry, to Fireworks. We watch it, man. And it's great to wow. speak with you. And, and, and it's crazy because you also had worked on a Chinese movie. I cannot pronounce it, but how was that? Love is uh, a Broadway hit. I worked on yes. Love is a Broadway hit. Yeah, that was a fantastic experience working with some really big names in China. Um, yeah, I, I got brought in. I knew the choreographer, and he needed extra dancers and actors for the specific scenes. And he said uh, he held a casting process, and I just auditioned for it, and I got the role, and it was just another incredible experience. You know, I've been really blessed to – have these uh, amazing experiences um, in my career so far, and I'm just excited to see what happens next. You know what I'm saying? We will know what happens next. John, gracias y déjame. Gracias por dejarme hacer las preguntas y continúa, amigo. Bueno, yo, bueno, ya que Andrés habló sobre esta gran producción, yo quiero recordarle sobre su primera dirección, que es el tema de South Boys. Men, es... Eh, Está disponible en Amazon por si quieren adquirirlo y también en otras plataformas. Man, ¿cómo, es, ¿Cómo es la realización de poder ser director, guionista y también poder interpretar una historia totalmente asombrosa en lo que es el tema de no solo superpoderes, sino la intuición humana? Man, we are glad that in Amazon we can watch the South Boys. I was directing, writing, man, um, doing this movie that deals with, with a lot of subjects, man. I don't know, something supernatural. Tell us more about your director experience. Wait, man. you watched The Sauce Boys? Yes, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was some comedy that my friend uh, wrote, James Pontillo. And I, I just, I kind of, kind of steamrolled him because he didn't know what was going on. So I was like, let me direct this. Let me do something. You know what I mean? Uh, that's something really early that I did. It's just like a, a stupid comedy. It was really fun directing it. I thought it was really fun. And um, I can't wait for my directorial debut. My directorial debut will probably be some kind of a comedy. Uh, but uh, I really enjoyed working on that as well. And it's really different when you're in the director's seat as well. I feel like you have more creative control. Um, but uh, it was really cool to act and direct in that one. I just remember being really high energy on that set. And we were just drinking coffee and just having a blast. We had a really good time shooting that one. Dice que es, le parece una locura, obviamente, que, 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 la, que la hayas visto, porque eso fue casi un proyecto de broma, que James Pontillo le dijo como que, 
a que no la diriges. Y dijo, listo, la dirijo. Y sucedió eso, pero él dice que obviamente tomó mucho café, que le divirtió mucho estar en el puesto del director y esperé. No, yo sé que yo sé que hay más direcciones. Yo, yo visualicé hacia el gato. Yo sigo el trabajo de Aaron desde hace mucho tiempo porque me encanta lo que hace, no solo por Five Wars, por The Soft Boys. También hay un cortometraje que yo vi también hace el gato y que yo estaba que le preguntaba a Wendy, pero dije, no, voy a preguntarse lo mismo a Aaron y es sobre Polaris. Men, Polaris es una mega cortometraje potente, cargado de adrenalina, de neón. Entonces, ¿cómo es sentirse en un cyberpunk, mejor dicho? I'm really envy John because he out of nowhere he watched Polarize and he really loved the short film. I need to see it, not only to translate here. Man, how was working in this because there are so many neon lights, there are so many things in this short film that John loved it. So tell us about Polarize, man. I'm, I'm just blown away. You guys have like seen really earlier work. You know, what I mean? like this, we're, we're going way back now. Polarize was a man that was like a, a student film that I worked on very early when I was just getting started in acting. Um, I don't know what happened with that director. I thought it was a really problem. Matt film. Uh, yes, Matt the director. He's director. The director. Yeah, I, I, I hope. Let's see what he's doing. Let's let's look him up real quick. I'm I'm really curious to see what he's been up to. I thought he was really talented. He was really great. Um, no with. man, he only he only made polarized and camera and electric department in the terrible two. Nothing more. Wow. Nothing else. Yes, that's kind of oh sad. My God, come on, man. Come on, man. Uh listen. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I thought he was really talented. I remember working on that um, in Chicago. That was, uh, yeah, that was just one, some of my earlier work, and it was a, it was a great learning experience. I got to play someone who's a little frenetic, um, and uh, ends up uh, blowing himself up in a way. <laughs> so, well. because, so uh, yeah, it's just uh, it was the start of my um, making a career out of playing crazy. <laughs> no, yo es que no ha hecho más nada. Eso es increíble y es un director muy talentoso. Eso es lo que estaba diciendo Aaron. Exacto. Es increíble que más no haya hecho. Dice que tú sabes, tú lo viste, ¿no? Alguien muy frenético y al final, no es spoiler, ¿no? Tú sabes. Sí. sí. Pero no men, spoiler. Pero, men, o sea, yo digo una cosa. Eh, yo sé que antes de llegar a los próximos proyectos nuevos tuyos, es que yo quiero abarcar este, un tema que la verdad me tiene loco por preguntarle. Este, ¿cómo fue la inspiración para tener ese corazón roto de su personaje en Toffee Man? Toffee Man, Toffee Man partió el alma, man. And I'm really hating, no, okay, no hating, but MB John, he watched Toffee, he said, how do you inspire to get this heartbroken, uh, like, yes, like, persona from your character, man. He watched that movie, I think he cried. John, you cried, you're asking? Sí, sí, man, porque o sea, cry, es algo don't, don't cry it. corazón Pero, roto, un broken heart. A broken heart, yes, yeah, man. Uh, made John happy. Tell him about your character in Toffee as Jack. Wow. Uh, again, you guys are really pulling out all the like early work. I, I love that. I'm really genuinely blown away that you've seen this, 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 this work. Because I'll be honest with you, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, interviews that go on, People haven't even watched my work. Like, like they'll go on the interview and they're like, "So tell us about this. That must have been great." And they haven't even seen it at all. But like, dude, thank you so much. Yeah, um, Tofi was a movie that was uh, created and directed by Karoche Parsi. Uh, he's just uh, a fun, wiry guy, and Jack is supposed to be this kind of like. You know, uh, uh, think of it as the like funny assistant who's always trying to make his boss happy. He's a mm -hmm. yes man. He's a yes man, you know. But there's a the element of heartbreak to that because he's never able to fully appease his boss. So he kind of represents the person who is always trying to lighten the mood and make things better, but is constantly being oppressed by the system. You know what I'm saying? Wow. John, 
la inspiración es que tú sabes muy bien que es una persona que siempre quiere complacer a su jefe y a pesar de todo lo que rompe el corazón en la película es que él siempre va a estar oprimido por el sistema ¿estás de acuerdo tú que la viste? Dime sí, de hecho John John say that you're right Aprobe. <laughs> and man, thank you. No, we, we really, um, it's okay from with the other interviewers, but no, we really like to do hard homework. So man, thank you. Thank you for writing wow. that. John dice que es que nosotros hicimos la tarea, porque él dice que siempre que lo entrevistan le dicen como que, oh, sí, estuviste genial y no han visto los trabajos, no, que nosotros sí los estamos viendo. No, oh, don't worry, man. It's fine, fine. Uh, yeah, no, Circle of Threes was a movie I was attached to, but then it kind of didn't go anywhere. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with it. I, I know the producer and director, and I'm very good friends with the son of the director as well. So uh, I don't know what's going on with that project per se. Uh, if they want to come back and put me for a role, that's great. But you know, they're you know, I have no idea what's going on with that. But Pledge uh, is a is a phenomenal project that kind of took me to the next level in in ways of being seen uh, to a wider audience. Uh, going out for bigger projects. Um, it was directed by the very talented director Daniel Robbins and written by Zach Zachary Weiner. Um, and those guys are some of my best friends now. I would consider them my best friends. Uh, it really just felt like a family and a community making that film. And it's one of my favorite roles I've ever played. And uh, I think that it's a gem of a horror movie film. And I think it will just continue to gain popularity as the names in that movie continue working forward. Like you have people like uh, Philip Andre Patello, who was in the art of self-defense and he works in a lot of other projects. Wow. Cameron Cowperthwaite, who's in American Horror Story. Jesse Pimentel, known for uh, Resident Evil Biohazard, who's a great friend of mine. Um, Zachary Bird, um, uh, Zachary Weiner. Uh, Daniel Robbins, and then uh, the uh, producer Mark Rappaport, uh, who went on to to work, who's working on several features, and just did a short with Eric Roberts. Uh, everyone attached to that, and then William Babcock, this DP, who's brilliant, brilliant DP. Um, everyone who was attached to that project just kind of went on to do bigger stuff, and I think that's why the IP behind it is going to continue building. And I hope that they uh, start making a sequel. You know what I mean? I think they have a trilogy. I know. I tell them, listen, I tell them, you got a sequel there. You got a trilogy there, actually. You got a sequel, then you have a third one as well. But, you know, um, that's ultimately their decision because they, they own the IP for that. Um, but uh, I think uh, we are heading that direction. I see them almost every Friday now for Shabbos dinner. So I'll probably see them tonight uh, for dinner because we have dinner with each other every Friday night. So, uh, yeah, uh, that, that, that project is really, really special to me because uh, the friendships I forged, the character I got to play, and uh, it was just a, it's just a gem. It's just a gem. It's one of those things that in life when you work so hard for something and you get a win, you know what I mean? You get a win. You're like, yes, and it just was a major win for me. And also I collaborated with uh, up-and-coming Colombian, uh, up-and-coming Ecuadorian artist um, Daniel Sanchez, and he did the artwork in that movie as well. So. Wow. What a bunch of talented people, man, and it's great to know But because you mentioned the projects, yes, I love every project that you mentioned. They are to set the fans. Resident Evil by Hazard, man. I, I'm a gamer, so I also love Resident Evil. Yeah. Wow, I will tell John because he will flip up with, with you having dinner, John. Es que es una locura. El proyecto de Pledge es uno de los favoritos de de, Aaron, de, Re, de hecho, John, tú no necesito decirte las carreras de todas las personas que están ahí, ¿no? Pero tú sabes muy bien que hay gente que ahorita están proyectazos. John, probablemente, ¿no? Todo depende de los dueños de la, de la marca. Probablemente haya trilogía, probablemente, probablemente. Wow. Pero ¿sabes qué es lo más increíble y surreal? Que de hecho puede que él se vea con ellos hoy. Eh, before I translate, eh, que, if, if you are having dinner with these amazing people tonight, say a hi from the channel. <laughs> they say, oh, from Colombia, they say you hi. They ask me about Pledge. John, es que siempre se reúnen a cenar, Javier. Todos excelente. son excelentes amigos y dedos cruzados. Que haya trilogía. ¿Tú quieres trilogía de Pledge? Yo quiero trilogía de Pledge. Por supuesto. Bueno, ok, continúa. 
ya pasando al tema de los nuevos eventos, de los nuevos proyectos, yo quiero comenzar en saber qué nos podemos esperar de Home, eh, Hard Ride to Hell, Bone. Man, you, you got uh, quite a bunch of projects that we know that some are complete, we are now some in post-production, we are now some is filming. What can we know? What can we expect? We know that sometimes there are things in the contrast that you can tell. But what we what we can expect from home, the blood sky in their heart for fraud, uh, your appearance in life from the dry, high rate right to hell or bound. Tell whatever you want, man. What? About about the projects that are upcoming, like oh, home. Oh, about the projects yes. are coming. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so yes, yes. um, the biggest thing I have right now is I have a movie. Um, it's gonna be another a big deal for me. This is another you know one of those wins. Um. One of my favorite projects I've worked on so far called All Those Small Things. It stars myself, James, primarily James Faulkner, Carrie Nupp, and myself. Uh, it's directed by Andrew Hyatt, uh, who has become a frequent collaborator. He's a brilliant uh, writer and director. Um, it is produced by Rebel Cat Productions. It will be dropping next week, June 21st. And then I'll also be releasing two songs that I, that I made for the character that's in the movie. So that will be coming out uh, next week. Uh, I just shot, um, I don't know if I can say this, but I just shot a sequel to, no, no, they announced it. I just shot a sequel mm -hmm. to the horror film Becky. Uh, for, so I'm going to be in the sequel for Becky. Uh, that was a very high profile sort of project that did very well, produced by Boulder Light Pictures. This is directed by Suzanne Coote and Matt Angel. Uh, and uh, that character is awesome. I really think it's exciting. And then I also worked on a movie called The Blind, which is based on a very well-known family that was on the A&E channel, and I play a person who is still alive. So that was cool to finally impersonate someone who, not impersonate, be someone who is still alive. So that was really exciting. And then I have a, a commercial that I shot back in Israel with a startup tech firm that should be dropping soon as well. So we got a lot going on, and then I'm shooting something next week. But the main focus right now I want people to know is uh, all the small things drops next week, June 21st. And a week after that, I'm dropping the first song from the movie. So, yes, what we can expect from the music, from all the small things, knowing that it's not about Bling 182, but something different. <laughs> so, yeah, Tiny, the character's name is Tiny Hammer. And his music is really unique. It's big band meets rap music. Wow. Yeah, it's wild. So I, it's wild. It's kind of in its own genre. And uh, I think it's just a lot of fun. And uh, I think people are going to have some sort of reaction to it. People are either going to love it. People are either going to hate it. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me what they what they what they like. I hope people like it, but uh, you know, I'm proud of the work that we created for it, and um, yeah. I think John got a question related. John, tú me vas a preguntar algo. Le vas a preguntar algo Aaron sobre Euclid, por favor, hazlo ahora. Bueno, que nos diga cómo es de desarrollar esas inspiraciones para realizar tus propios videoclips con las, con algunas canciones que has amado de los artistas, Eminem, Kanye West, este, personificar a grandes cómicos también del cine. Man, that is crazy. I didn't know it, but I know it now. Makes me more happy because you have made some collaborations or versions from rap songs. I read it, Bring It, Conspiracy, Demon Killer. D20 Alpha Retribute. Man, how, how was the inspiration? Uh, Yo, tell me, tell you me. listen to my music, man. And That's I will listen awesome. to it. Don't... Yes. Oh my God, man. Oh, man. Um, okay, so I started putting out the music uh, when, when, um, when the pandemic happened. You know what I'm saying? When the pandemic happened and the world ended and it shut down and stuff, I started putting out my music. Because I was like, this is the perfect opportunity for people to finally hear what I've been writing for so many years. Uh, I've been holding these beats inside. And now I just can't stop. 
You know, I've put out six singles. I've got two songs from the film. I'm creating other songs based on the character. I've got, I think I want to return back to Tucci Bada Ducci because I got to give the people what they want. All right. People need to laugh. Art is power. Art has the ability to, 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 to heal the world, to save the world. I truly believe that. And um, that's my job. I'm an entertainer. And my job is to just put out content that people, that, that entertain people. And you know what I mean? It's not my job, whether or not they like it or not. Some people are going to like it. Some people are not. But I truly do this because I just want to entertain. And I cannot help it because in one of the songs, there's a tribute to one of your movies. Uh, tell me more about Alpha Rift. Alpha Rift. Oh, Alpha Rift. Okay, so that's a movie that people can see me in now besides Twice and Trick and other things. Uh, I was the lead in that one. That stars opposite the great Lance Henriksen, directed by very talented director Dan Lance, who's also a great friend of mine now, who I recently worked on another one of his projects. That one's on Tubi for free. I would highly encourage anyone who's fans of D&D, gamers, that kind of thing, check out Alpha Rift. I play the hero in that one. Oh, you're a fan of D&D? And, 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 and gamers, man. I, we oh, watch man, it you got to look at Alpha Rift, then. You got to look at Alpha Rift. I think you'll love it. And then go to my Spotify and listen to the D20 song or go to the YouTube and look up the D20 music video, which has over 100,000 str- 100, views. John, es que tuve que hacerlo porque tú colocaste lo de D20. <laughs> Hombre, es que Alpha Rift están en, en Tubi, man. Me la, la voy a ver, es para fans de calabozos y dragones, videojuegos. Hay que verla. Bueno, papi, creo que tienes. Le va a pedir, un, va a pedir algo a, a Aaron. ¿Qué vas a preguntar? Dime. No, primero las la redes sociales que invita a ver esta nueva producción que está en HBO Europa, el Altos Small Times. Y bueno, que no sé, que un saludo para Colombia y que si alcanza, que una línea a la imitación de él, ya, que a él le encanta. Pero, pero eh, antes, tú le ibas a preguntar sobre unas series, ¿no? Gohan. No, eso no. Eh, ok, no, ok, ok. I was, I was arguing with John. No, no, Arvin. We don't argue. We are friends. Man, the hammer is yours. Uh, we are finishing this interview. Send a hi to the channel, to Colombia, to whatever you want. Tell your social media so people can follow you. Uh, invite people to watch all those small things and whatever you want, man. And if you got time, uh, John told me that you love to do impressions. If you want to do a uh, Jim Carrey impression, go ahead, man. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, okay. alrighty then. We're going to do a little bit of that. Well, all the people watching this interview, yes, I want you to subscribe to the Colombian podcast at John. All my people in Colombia, please watch out for all those small things. All the small things dropping June 21st next week. Check it out, Tiny Hammer and his song, Mother Goose. Follow me online at Aaron Dallavilla on Instagram. John, I think the John. Oh, my man, my I think the John. <laughs> we interview with you. Patty Typo from Ace Ventura, man. I will tell you that. Send this video to her. Te la enviaré a Pati Taipo. A Pati Taipo es Ventura, sí. <laughs> no, le, le, la foto. Es Ventura. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eh, I don't know if the most eh, nice guy, the most, I mean, you, 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 eh, I was telling John we, 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 when I, we were waiting that, man, he's more, one of the most nicest person, one of the, no, man, you, you, you are, you're amazing. I, I, John, le está diciendo que tú eres las personas más amables. You too, man. Increíble. I really like, I checked out your podcast, you know, I checked out your YouTube, man. I really like what you're doing, man. And I just support you and just, just, just keep doing it. Me over here too. I'm just going to keep doing it and let's support each other. Let me know when this drops so I can share it and stuff. And I just really appreciate this opportunity to connect with you guys. Thank you. And I will tell my friend John. John dice que el oyó el podcast, que el vio el canal, que nos apoya. Wow, okay. Que por favor, cuando salga la entrevista, la avises y no, yo un gracias. No, thank you, man. Thank, thank you, you man. Brother. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. You're awesome. Thank you. Bye bye. Saludos a Wendy. Right. Bye bye. Yes, say hi to Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Yeah, I'll tell her. <laughs> okay.
Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. So thank you.